it's been confirmed that the US-owned cargo ship MV Gibraltar Eagle has been hit in the Gulf of Aden by a ballistic missile fired by the Houthis in Yemen. US officials say that the vessel has reported no injuries or significant damage and is continuing its journey. Last week, British and American forces carried out bombing raids on Houthi rebels who've been targeting commercial shipping in that vital shipping lane. On Sunday, the Houthis fired on a U.S. warship again. Well, uh, less than an hour ago, the U.S. Central Command uh, X account tweeted uh, about the strike, saying Iranian-backed Houthi militants fired an anti-ship ballistic missile from Houthi-controlled areas of Yemen and struck the MV Gibraltar Eagle, a Marshall Islands flagged U.S.-owned and operated container ship. The ship has reported no injuries or significant damage and is continuing with its journey. It added that earlier they detected an anti-ship ballistic missile fired towards the Southern Red Sea commercial shipping lanes. The missile failed in flight and impacted on land in Yemen. There were no injuries or damage reported. Well, speaking a short time ago in the House of Commons, the UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak gave MPs an update on those military strikes of last week in Yemen. I want to be clear that these were limited strikes. They were carefully targeted at launch sites for drones and ballistic missiles to, to degrade the Houthis' capacity to make further attacks on international shipping. I can tell the House today that our initial assessment is that all 13 planned targets were destroyed. At the drone and cruise missile base in Barney, nine buildings were successfully hit. A further three buildings were hit at Abs Airfield along with a cruise missile launcher caught in the open. We have seen no evidence thus far of civilian casualties, which we took great care to avoid. I know the whole House will join me in paying tribute to the incredible bravery and professionalism of all our servicemen and women. Yeah. Well, that's the Prime Minister in the last little while. Let's go straight to our Middle East correspondent, Hugo Bachega. And uh, Hugo, uh, in terms of uh, uh, what we have seen, those details I was just reading out from US Central Command, but the worry has always been there would be retaliation. And we see now a number of incidents, but today a vessel actually being hit. Yeah, Matthew, so this is the most serious incident since those attacks. Dozens of airstrikes that were carried out by American British forces targeting Houthi positions in Yemen uh, last week. So uh, the U.S. military saying that this uh, container ship was struck by an anti-ship uh, uh, ballistic missile that was fired from uh, Yemen. Uh, there was no significant damage, no injuries, and that uh, they say this vessel is continuing uh, its journey. But again, the Houthis had said they would retaliate following uh, those attacks. Uh, they had hit more than uh, 60 uh, locations, uh, targets uh, across uh, Yemen. And uh, the Houthis have been saying that they are carrying out those attacks, targeting commercial ships uh, in response to uh, the Israeli uh, war against Hamas in Gaza. And they say that these attacks are going to continue. They've accused uh, the Americans and the British of an escalation on behalf of Israel. It is interesting that uh, we've heard from Rishi Sunak, the British Prime Minister, saying that uh, these attacks uh, are not related to the situation in Gaza, that uh, this is about guaranteeing uh, freedom of navigation uh, in the Red Sea. Uh, these attacks that have been carried out by the Houthis have caused major disruption to global trade. We've seen that uh, companies have had to uh, divert their vessels. They're now going around uh, the Cape of Good Hope in, in Africa, adding extra costs uh to the journeys, uh, also days, uh, 10 extra days uh, to those journeys. So a lot of economic disruption. There have been concerns about the possible uh, impact that uh, these attacks uh, could have on the global economy. So the Americans and the British saying that these attacks uh, have been targeted, have been limited, uh, and that uh, this uh, action has been taken uh, to, again, uh, guarantee the safety of vessels and guarantee the freedom of navigation. But earlier today, a Houthi leader said that these attacks are going to continue unless there is a ceasefire in Gaza. Hugo Ochega there in Beirut. Thanks very much for the latest detail that you're hearing. Let's get more on this. Let's go live to Merlin Thomas. She's there at BBC Verify looking at what we've been learning in the last couple of hours. And uh, Merlin, tell us more. 
Yeah, as you said, Matthew, so we now have a few more details. So the US authorities have now said that the ship involved in the incident is the Gibraltar Eagle. So the US military said it's a US-owned and operated ship and that it was hit from above by a missile at about 4 p.m. local time. And they've added that this was fired from a Houthi-controlled area in Yemen. And it's reported to have been hit just here. That's just over 100 miles southeast of the port city of Aden. Now, the operators of the ship have also said that no one on the ship has been injured and it has suffered limited damage and it's stable and it's going to continue heading out of the area. The UK Marine Trade Organization has also said that other vessels in, tr in transit in the area should proceed with caution and that they should report any suspicious activity. Now, this comes amid repeated attacks by the Houthi group. That's an Iranian-backed group in Yemen. And they've been attacking commercial ships in the Red Sea. So that's in this area between Africa and the Middle East. And this newest incident, this most recent incident, appears to be slightly further afield just over here. So that is, that is new and that is concerning. Um, and what also is interesting to know is that the Houthis have said that they're targeting commercial ships with any links to Israel. But so far, we haven't found any evidence that this is the case with this ship.